Quizzy Wizzy, <laughs> a fun channel for curious kids and adults. Today we're going to explore lots of cool stuff about space, planets, and stars. Which planet is the biggest in the solar system? Earth, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn. Earth is our home, the only planet with oceans, pizza, and cats. Jupiter is the largest planet, with a giant storm bigger than Earth. Mars is the red neighbor, with a huge volcano and the longest valley in the solar system. Saturn is the pretty one with rings. It looks like it's wearing a cosmic hat. Correct answer, Jupiter. Jupiter is the true king of planets. It's so huge that over a thousand Earths could fit inside it. It has more than 60 moons, and one of them, Europa, is covered in ice and may even hide an ocean and maybe alien life. A day on Jupiter is super short, less than 10 hours, so evenings come very quickly there. Jupiter's winds are super strong, and its storms last for hundreds of years. Imagine a hurricane that lasts longer than your great-great-grandparents' whole lives. And Jupiter acts like a giant space bodyguard, pulling dangerous asteroids away from Earth with its powerful gravity. Which planet is closest to the Sun? Earth, Mars, Mercury, Venus. Earth is the perfect place for life, with oceans, clouds, and cozy weather. Mars is cold and dusty, with giant storms that sometimes cover the whole planet. Mercury is the smallest and fastest planet. It races around the sun quicker than any other. Venus is hot and cloudy. Its thick atmosphere traps heat like a giant greenhouse. Correct answer, Mercury. Mercury is the speedy sprinter of the solar system. It zips around the sun in just 88 Earth days, so a whole year there is shorter than three months on Earth. Daytime on Mercury is so hot that metal could melt, but at night it's freezing cold. Because it has almost no atmosphere, the sky on Mercury is always black, even in the daytime. And Mercury's surface is full of craters, it looks a bit like a giant space cheese with holes. Which planet is famous for its rings? Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, Neptune. Jupiter also has rings, but they are so faint you can barely see them. Uranus has dark narrow rings, made mostly of cosmic dust. Saturn is the most famous planet with rings. It looks like a giant space hula hoop. Neptune has thin rings, as if someone drew them with a pencil. Correct answer, Saturn. Saturn is the superstar of the solar system. Its rings are huge and bright. If you could stand on Saturn, you can't. It's a gas giant. The rings would cover half the sky. They are made of billions of chunks of ice and rock, from tiny specks to boulders as big as a house. Saturn has so many moons that astronomers keep coming up with new names for them. And Saturn spins super fast, a whole day there is only about 10 hours long. You could say Saturn is the planet that loves to twirl and show off its shiny space dress. What is the Milky Way? The tail of a comet, a cloud of milk in space. 
A huge galaxy full of stars. A space road for astronauts. The tail of a comet is made of ice and dust that trails behind the comet, but it is not a whole galaxy. A cloud of milk in space sounds tasty, but there is no milk in space. A huge galaxy full of stars is our giant cosmic home, with over 100 billion stars, and the sun is just one of them. A space road for astronauts would be convenient, but in reality, astronauts fly along orbits. Correct answer, a huge galaxy full of stars. The Milky Way is our cosmic home. It contains more than 100 billion stars, and the sun is one of them. If you look at the sky on a clear night, you can see a white stripe, that is the Milky Way, and we see it from inside. It looks like a huge disk, and we are somewhere on the side of this disk. In the center of the Milky Way there is a real black hole, but it is far away, so don't worry. Scientists joke that if we had super eyes, we could see millions of tiny twinkling lights, a real cosmic fireworks show. Which star is the brightest? The Sun, Betelgeuse, Sirius, Polaris. The Sun is our closest star, giving us light and heat, but we can't see it at night. Betelgeuse is a huge red supergiant star, but it appears dimmer than Sirius from Earth. Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky, easy to spot even in winter. Polaris always points north, but it is not the brightest. Correct answer, Sirius. Sirius is a true superstar of the night sky. Its brightness makes it stand out even among billions of other stars. It is located in the constellation Canis Major and is sometimes called the Dog Star. Sirius is actually a double star system, a big white star and a small companion that is almost invisible. Scientists joke that if Sirius threw a party, its light would be like a spotlight across the whole cosmos. Because of its brightness, Sirius has been used for navigation by sailors and astronomers for thousands of years. How long does one year last on Earth? 24 hours, 30 days, 365 days, 100 days. Twenty-four hours is the length of one day on Earth. Thirty days is about a month, not a year. 365 days is almost exactly one full orbit of the Earth around the Sun. 100 days would be too short for all the seasons. Correct answer, 365 days. A year on Earth lasts 365 days, or one orbit around the sun. Each year brings four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Scientists know that the year is actually slightly longer, so every four years we add February 29th, a leap day to keep the calendar accurate. During the year, Earth moves at an enormous speed, about 30 kilometers per second, but we hardly notice it. During a year, nature changes its outfit, trees bloom, crops ripen, snow falls, and then spring comes again. You could say every year, Earth throws a big party for all its inhabitants. Which planet is red like a ripe tomato? Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Venus. Jupiter is huge and gaseous, but it doesn't look red. Mars is red because of iron oxide on its surface, sometimes called the red planet. Mercury is small and gray, and also not red. 
Venus is bright and yellowish, with thick clouds, but it's not red. Correct answer, Mars. Mars is Earth's neighbor, always attracting the attention of astronomers and space explorers. Its surface is covered with red sand and dust from rusty iron, making it look like a ripe tomato. Mars has the tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, and deep canyons many times longer than those on Earth. Scientists are searching for water there, which means maybe someday there will be cosmic Martian farmers. A day on Mars is slightly longer than on Earth, about 24 hours and 37 minutes, so Martian clocks run slowly but accurately. Mars also sometimes experiences huge dust storms that can cover the entire planet for weeks, a real cosmic blizzard. Which constellation is related to animals? Orion, Virgo, Cassiopeia, Ursa Major, Orion is a hunter with a belt and sword, but there are no animals on it. Virgo is a girl with a sheaf of wheat, with no animals at all. Cassiopeia is a queen on her throne, recognized by the shape of the letter W. Ursa Major is a giant bear in the sky, visible almost all year round. Correct answer, Ursa Major. Ursa Major is the most famous animal in the night sky. It actually looks like a huge cosmic bear strolling among the stars. Scientists joke that if the bear had paws, it could even reach the moon. Different cultures have seen it differently. Some see a big bear, some see a giant cosmic ladle, and astronomers say it's just a group of bright stars that help people navigate the sky. Nearby Ursa Major is Ursa Minor with the North Star, a true cosmic mom and her cub. What does a comet do when it passes by the sun, leaves a bright tail, changes color, accelerates and becomes a planet, hides in a nebula, leaves a bright tail, this is the most famous feature of comets. The tail can stretch for millions of kilometers. Changes color. Comets don't really change color drastically, maybe just a slight shade from the sunlight. Accelerates and becomes a planet. No comets don't turn into planets, though they do travel very fast. Hides in a nebula. Comets don't hide, they follow their orbits and sometimes disappear from view. Correct answer, leaves a bright tail. A comet is like a real cosmic fireworks show when it gets close to the sun ice and dust on its surface start to evaporate and a bright tail bursts out stretching for millions of kilometers like a long glowing cosmic trail. The tail always points away from the sun even if the comet is flying in the opposite direction as if it's wearing an invisible space hat with a long ribbon. Some comets visit the solar system only once every hundreds or thousands of years. A truly rare guest like a cosmic. Magician who appears and disappears scientists joke that if a comet flew over Earth it could leave a glowing stroke from a cosmic brush and if you make a wish in time maybe it will come true. Why don't aliens throw parties on Earth? They are afraid of Earth cats. They don't like Earth pizza. They haven't learned how to open doors yet. They don't like our weather. They are afraid of cats because cats can scratch and run away with their space hats. Earth pizza is too hot and too tasty. They are afraid they would eat it all in one bite. They can't open doors. Their little alien hands are different, and door handles are too tricky. Earth weather is strange. Rain, snow, heat. It's hard for them to know what to wear. Correct answer. They are afraid of Earth cats. Aliens are very curious, but cats on Earth are real cosmic spies. 
They can steal invisible lasers and jump on aliens' heads. Scientists joke that if aliens did come to a party, the cats would put on a real cosmic show, chasing tails, leaping from furniture, and loud meows instead of music. Some even say cats know the secret of portals to other galaxies, so it's easier for aliens to stay home and watch Earth through telescopes. In short, a party on Earth without cats would be boring, and with them, too wild even for aliens. Of course, this is a joke, because the existence of aliens has not been proven yet. If you enjoyed our stories about space, subscribe to our channel and give us a like. We have lots of exciting things for you.